You know, in the video covering the Nintendo Direct leak, I did say that I don't think we're getting a full Nintendo Direct on the 28th, but in September. And I guess I was kinda right? I mean, we still did get the August Mini Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, but in any case, I'm really starting to wonder if Nintendo has no plans for the rest of 2020 other than Pikmin 3 and Bravely Default. And that's if that doesn't get delayed. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. In this video, we're going to talk about the August Mini Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, if the Nintendo Direct was good, and just the overall situation with Nintendo when it comes to Nintendo Directs, new Nintendo Switch games, and just having some sort of idea of what Nintendo's release date schedule is. Because at this point, you gotta tell us something, Nintendo, some sort of timeline, even if it's just for the next six months. So Nintendo has been really, really, really quiet for a long, long, long time. Aside from a few announcements and games like Paper Mario and the Origami King and Pikmin 3 Deluxe, we really don't know Know what's coming to the Nintendo Switch. I mean, we don't even have gameplay for Breath of the Wild 2, which has been in development for over a year, so I would think we would have gameplay or at least another story trailer, right? And it's almost been a whole year since the last Nintendo Direct, the full Nintendo Direct. The last one was September 4th, 2019. Let that sink in. This has caused a lot of frustration among the Nintendo Switch player base. In my opinion, if you invest into a platform, you expect games to be put out on that platform at an acceptable rate, not to mention information about said games. And of course, when to expect them or at least a window of when you can expect these games. No matter what platform you're on, this is pretty much what's expected in this day and age, unlike say the days before the internet, cell phones, and Twitter and so on. And Nintendo hasn't really been doing the best at it and it's starting to drain everyone's battery. Really? Really, we had about five or six videos without the power going out. See Nintendo, this is why we need a Nintendo Direct. We need our batteries recharged. We wouldn't be having power outages if you would just tell us what's going on. Luckily, I still have that battery powered spotlight. Power outages aside, the mini Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase was shown off for August of 2020 and it wasn't that bad, but I don't think it was good either. Now don't get me wrong, the games that were shown off were actually pretty interesting to me. I'm super pumped for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory since it's combining one of my favorite games with one of my favorite genres of games. And then we have the game that has a title that I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I will probably pronounce it wrong, but it's combining Pokemon mechanics with rhythm games, which is actually pretty cool. They also showed smaller Nintendo Switch games like Final Fantasy Legends and the DLC for Minecraft Dungeons, which I did review that game and is actually pretty cool and if you want a review on that, I have done one. But they also did show Let's Just Dance and this tank game and other games that were just not the best looking or just lost my interest. And even though I did enjoy some of these Nintendo Switch games from the mini Nintendo Direct, it's not enough to say yes, this August mini Nintendo Direct was a good Nintendo Direct. The mini Nintendo Direct that showed Shinigami Tensei was a lot better just because it had that huge game there. I just said mini Nintendo Direct and Nintendo Direct a lot of times, probably way too many. Times. But overall, it was a decent direct, a meh direct, if you will. But I think what everyone is thinking now is what exactly is going to happen? In this mini direct, they said there are more to come. So something tells me that Nintendo is gonna have these partner directs until they have a full Nintendo direct. Now in the investor meeting, Nintendo did say that they were trying to find new ways to market their games. And if this is their new way, this is just not it. In fact, this is the exact opposite of what they should be doing. Nintendo still has a ton of games that have not had release dates, heck we don't even know the release windows for some of them. Some don't even have story trailers, let alone gameplay trailers. These games range from Metroid Prime 4 and Breath of the Wild 2 to even games that are slated for 2020 like Bravely Default, which I still think we're gonna get a Twitter announcement for that game. And with this informationless landscape that Nintendo has created, this is making me wonder if Nintendo is skipping out on the rest of 2020 when it comes to Nintendo Directs and other huge events, or just Nintendo news in general for Nintendo Switch exclusives. And if this is the case, I don't see Nintendo giving us any news for a while, at least until November or October at the earliest and January at the latest, which really sucks because by then it would have been over a year. Now of course we have gotten games, don't get me wrong, Pikmin, Animal Crossing, I believe Xeno was there too in the last year, but I think eventually Nintendo is going to have to tell us something. Now if you're looking to wonder how you can support me other than watching these videos, I do have a Patreon if you want to check that out. Link to that in the pinned comment below along with my Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter also. Oh and by the way, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Roborob Gaming for more Nintendo content and other gaming news and videos. Thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.